It's week seven of the 2028 season, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Packers under the lights on Sunday night. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Nothing on the scoreboard, 0-0 as the offense gets ready to take over the football. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. You look at this Carolina defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator. Because I said to you, stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> How about him saying, well, first order of business, we got to stop the run. Of course you do. He's got a good unit, but facing the number one rushing team, they have to stop that in order to have a good performance. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. On third down, Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They begin the drive with Robinson. Now he's loose at the 40. And down to the 19-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. We've called a lot of gains, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Love looking to throw it toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this. Matt LaFleur loudly voicing his objections to that previous call. He's going to. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five on the ten. They should be ready to go. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Throw left side complete. That's Burnett. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. The Packers at 5-1 and one here in this early part of the season. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. Now, I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. To throw now, here's Love. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Pretty nice gain on the scramble, gets him 12 yards. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. 
Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in position. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah. He's got a man complete. And just shutting him off there. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the fifth. It's a big. Green Bay, 69 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Ready? They go bootleg. Love. They'll roll him out right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So many times I advocate not challenging coverage downfield, but on this play, I thought he made an excellent decision to actually do so. If that had been complete, that would have been one for the highlight reel. Robinson gets the toss on the right side. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Just a yard on... So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Ready, ready. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Love now to pass on first down. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Love. That is incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Love. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Ready. Black shot. Blue, go. Final play of the half, Love. 
Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he knocks the ball away and it falls in. line as this offense gets set to take over. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that okay, is right? that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A give left side to Robinson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now Love. And this would complete to Burnett. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Strong coverage by... Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Yellow, go. And they'll go on the ground. Loose inside the 30. McCall Hardman. Touchdown, Packers. Meek. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Got an open man. It's Burnett. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. That's complete to Wicks. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. Off play action, Love. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. In motion right, that's Hardman. Now they'll fake the jet sweep here and throw off play action. Escaping the pressure right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Oh, how about this on first and goal? 
And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. First down going to the air with Love. Completes it to Hardman. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll run this one right with Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. 81 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better really as the night's gone on. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Second and a couple. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Robinson toss play left side. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Okay, and here's ready? a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Ready. Ready. Love looking to throw. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level from both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high-flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both.